The Porsche designed on a Magic V2 RSR is the most premium foldable smartphone on the planet. But if you want one, it's gonna cost you quite a bit. RSR stands for Rennsport Rennwagen, which is German for racing sport, racing car, and is the exclusive name for competition versions of the Porsche 911 that are not street legal. That's rather fitting for this special edition Magic V2, as I doubt you'll see many of them on the street. So if you get one, it's certainly going to be a head turner. The box itself is kind of what you'd expect the Porsche to be packaged in, if it were to ever be boxed up. The first thing you'll notice is the device itself, and alongside it sits a stylus, which foldables don't typically have bundled in the box. Underneath the top tray, you'll find three separate boxes. The middle box packs in a hard shell leather case with stitching that has a suede interior finish and a magnetic side which latches onto the device. At the bottom of the middle box, you'll find a magnetic leather stylus case, which keeps your pen neatly tucked away. And of course, there is also a Porsche designed SIM ejector tool, which is a nice touch. The box on the left houses a six amp charging cable and a two pin 66 watt charger while the box on the right houses a second six amp charging cable and a three pin 66 watt block so you should be covered in multiple regions this is probably the most amount of accessories i have ever seen in a smartphone box but it kind of makes sense when you consider the whopping 2,700 euro price tag. The price might scare you off a bit, but you have to remember it only comes in one variant with an insane 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage. And in case you were wondering, this is indeed the global version, which got announced a couple months after its Chinese debut, and it's already available for purchase. This may be a phone for those who can actually afford a Porsche 911 or for those who have one already, but as a tech enthusiast, you still have to admire its gorgeous design. It only comes in one color, of course, that being agate gray, which is a signature color of Porsche luxury cars, and the fly line seen in the middle of its glass backplate is reminiscent of the hood of a Porsche 911. Whenever I look at this phone, I can't help but think of MKBHD. I mean, it has a matte finish, and it's designed by Porsche. That fly line curve flows into the fly line camera module design, which resembles a Porsche's rounded windshield. This is framed by the same titanium alloy you see in many motorsport vehicles. And inside this module sits a 20 megapixel telephoto camera, as well as two 50 megapixel sensors for the ultra wide and main camera. We still have motion sensing capture, which automatically takes a snap when a subject is moving. And thanks to class leading shutter speeds, the Magic V2 keeps everything in focus without even breaking a sweat. Color tones and details are nicely matched, whether you use the ultra wide, main or 2.5 times optically zoomed telephoto sensor, and both the ultra wide and main cameras can shoot video at 4K 60fps while keeping things nice and stable. You can also use the back cameras to record selfie video, and yes, the cover screen can be used to take control of those back sensors. What's up, guys? This is Technic recording a 4K 60fps video using the back main cam as the selfie camera, and this is only because we can actually use the cover screen to be able to control and preview the back cameras in selfie mode. But of course we can also use the actual selfie camera to record selfie video, but it is capped at 4K 30 frames per second. Let me know your thoughts on the video quality as well as the microphone quality. The inner and outer displays both have punch hole cutouts for the same 16 megapixel f2.2 selfie camera, and they take more than decent selfies at 0.8x or cropped in at 1x, which is the only option when in portrait mode. But there isn't much reason to take photos with the selfie cameras when you can utilize the flagship back cameras. The cameras produce more than decent photos and videos, but at the end of the day, this is a Porsche phone first, foldable phone second, and camera phone last. The stylish matte finished backplate is made from high strength fiberglass, the glossy side frames are made from magnesium, and the extremely durable matte finished hinge is made from titanium. All of these light materials means it is still extremely light at just 234 grams, and it is still the thinnest inward foldable smartphone in the world, coming in at just 9.9 millimeters thick when folded. The cover screen is protected by anti-scratch nano crystal shield glass that makes use of silicon nitride. 
which is a material typically seen in motor car engines and is supposedly 10 times stronger and 10 times more scratch resistant. Both displays are the same as the regular V2, that being a 6.43 inch OLED cover screen with 2500 nits of peak brightness and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio which is identical to regular bar styled smartphones and a 7.92 inch OLED inner display with 1600 nits of peak brightness and an aspect ratio of 9.78 by 9. Both of them pack in 402 pixels per inch, they both have 3840Hz PWM dimming and they both offer 120Hz LTPO refresh rates. The stylus that comes in the box can be used on the internal and external display which isn't something you typically see on foldable smartphones and it can be charged using the USB-C port at the top of the pen. The V2 RSR still comes with Magic OS version 7.2 out of the box, which is skinned over Android 13, but Honor have told me that it will soon be updated to OS 8 running over Android 14. This is the global version, so of course it comes packed with all of Google's goodies, and of course it has a lot of multitasking and foldable features packed in. The Magic V2 RSR still packs in the same 5000 mAh silicon car carbon battery and still has the same 66 watt wide charging speeds, as well as the same 4 nanometer run Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU, which is of course last year's flagship Qualcomm chipset, so it still packs in a serious punch which leads to more than impressive benchmark scores. But more importantly, Honor have paired up with Gameloft in order to bring 120 FPS gaming to Asphalt 9 Legends. There's now a toggle in the game in order to enable 120 FPS mode, and once you fire up a race it feels ridiculously smooth. Of course you can also play the game at 120 FPS when the device is unfolded for a more immersive experience. The Porsche designed on a Magic V2 RSR is certainly something special. It has class leading display aspect ratios and is extremely thin which makes it a foldable smartphone that you will have no problems using on the daily. And it is no doubt the best looking foldable I have ever used. Let me know your thoughts on this masterpiece of a foldable smartphone. And if you had the money, would you actually buy one? This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.